And we're at week three. They're over halfway. They've done pretty much most of the system now, and I'm really excited for you to see how Lawrence got on now that he pretty much has got everything with the ULM system now done. Let's see how he got on. So how did uh, this week's ULM go? I mean, you've done pretty much most of the system now. Uh, how was it? Yeah, it's good to realize that once you've done this week, that there's only one tiny little module left ahead of you, which is nice because this week was a big chunk of work. And once you complete the module, um, you look back and realize that actually it wasn't that much ahead of you. So, you know, you start it and you think, right, there's like an hour's worth of material to look at here. This is probably going to be a lot of information to take in, but actually the way you break it down is you're breaking down something that's essentially very simple, but you're giving us every ingredient we need to make it happen. And that's what I've liked about this week is that um, some elements I already had implemented, some elements that I still need to go ahead and implement, but um, everything is given to us and I am confident that I can go ahead and implement that, which is great. Nice. Okay. Um, and what was most surprising for you about uh, this week? Was there like a concept that came up that, that astonished you or what was it for you? Yeah, for me, it's the weekly side of things. So it start, uh, you know, I um, have been pretty good at my day to day organization. And what the earlier models taught me was that, okay, if you time, you know, set a time for tomorrow's tasks, then you're more likely to complete them. And that's something that's completely true. I've, um, my productivity's improved in that sense. But now when we're looking at it from a weekly point of view, that's something that I've just never really thought of because um, you know, everybody, pretty much everybody generalizing here sets a yearly goal. Some people will break that down into a quarter or power year as you put it. Very few people will do monthly and weekly. And that's something that I've never thought about doing. So. Um, when you already have some form of structure in place, adding like a new feature in can take some time as opposed to starting and revamping everything over from scratch. Um, so yeah, the weekly concept has been the most interesting to me and all of the elements that go into that. So, you know, reflecting on what you've done in the past week, um, comparing that to all the previous weeks that you've evaluated as well. And then looking ahead, you know, planning the entire week ahead of me, that's, um, it sounds so simple when you hear it in hindsight. It, it's really annoying how simple it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, somebody could be watching this video and be thinking like, okay, they're talking about planning a week. How, how difficult can that be? Like everybody plans their week, but don't plan your week until you've <laughs> experienced what, you know, could be involved and how to better yourself. Cool, man, nice. So how do you think you're going to find implementing this? Because obviously learning it's one thing, but is the implementation going to be easy for you or um the practical implementation into something that i've already got is going to be a pain in the backside that's going to take a lot of work um being honest you know it is going to take a long time but the actual um side of it where me adopting it and my willingness to adopt it is going to be straightforward because it's only stuff that can benefit you, you know, reflecting on what you've done and comparing that to previous weeks and et cetera. How can it not benefit you? I mean, you know, there's the motivation right there. And it's something that's so simple and it's a repetitive task that after, you know, weeks, months gone by, it's just going to come to you so easily. Mm, cool. And, and how is it looking at, like you said, you've pretty much done the whole system now. So looking at the system overall, how does it make you feel? I mean, you've already done so much of the course. How, how does it feel looking back? It does feel great because, um, like I said to you um, kind of offline, I believe it was, you know, about, you know, why I signed up to this. Um, you know, previously, you know, years, well, not even years ago, probably like 12 months ago, I was a little bit skeptical about these types of things. And as a lot of people are, you know, Nobody comes into this world and grows up and thinks, oh yeah, this is exactly what I want to do. And these people are talking the truth. You know, there's always going to be a bit of skepticism there. And um, with you as a fulfillment artist and a life coach, now that I've taken the huge leap, and that's the hardest part. The hardest part is having the balls to say, hey, can I be a part of this? You know, can I enter this competition or, you know, paying the money to do it, whatever it might be. That's the hardest bit. Once you're actually into it, 
it's completely worth it. And I'm so glad that being into this and with only one tiny model left to go, that I know that this is something that I want to pursue later in life. You know, always having somebody like this, somebody like you to be there and help guide because again, what is the downside to this? You know, take the jump and just do it. And I'm so glad that I have. Cool. Amazing. Well, you know, you've got one small module left. I've got to be honest though. There are, there are a couple of bonus videos that you're going to have to watch as well. Um, you, you'll really enjoy them. And uh, yeah, I look forward to catching up with you next week. Cool. Okay, Ben. Speak then.